I'm Zoe Squirrel. Uh, I live in Corfe Castle and I partake in equestrianism, particularly para-equestrian dressage for people with disabilities. So my disability is a form of cerebral palsy known as left-sided hemiplegia. So it's a weakness on the left side of my body caused by a brain hemorrhage before, during or just after birth on the right side of my brain. And it causes a general weakness, lack of coordination, lack of balance, and also affects my mobility. So moving around for long periods of time can be tricky. So I tend to use a walking stick for longer distances just to be more stable. It affects my riding in that my left side's weaker and also I can twist to one side. So the horses have to pick up different signals from me than they would do in a body rider. So I use a much lighter aid than an able-bodied rider. I have had adaptations to my tack, so I wear a toe cap on my left foot so that the stirrup doesn't wedge my foot in. And I also ride with looped reins so that my reins don't um, slip through the, through the contact. It doesn't stop you. I mean, I just have to ride and keep doing it and keep practicing it, the same as everyone else. The horses learn very quickly. They are very special horses, para dressage horses. They learn very quickly that they have to adapt to you. They're all incredibly generous, so they wouldn't ever really take advantage. You know, the little horse that I ride, Eddie, has picked up my aids very, very quickly, and I started with him in the riding school. He was ridden by a lot of people doing a lot of things, but very quickly he understood that when I was on board, he had to look after me, but he could offer more because I asked for more but he just had to do it in a way that respected my age. As a youngster, I started for therapy. My physiotherapist suggested that I start riding as a better form of physio than what she could offer. So from the age of 8 to 18, I did it for therapy purposes um, and then moved on to doing it more seriously, learning to ride and building myself up to what I'm doing now. So um, I started para dressage in September 2014 with a horse based in Gloucester, the Silver Surfer or Ollie, owned by Sarah Hart and I rode him for two years, travelling five hours plus to get to him for training once a month and then we travelled around to competitions with him. We got to four national championships and were placed in each of those, a home international and were fifth with the team representing the South West. And probably my biggest achievement, even though we didn't actually go because the blame was for horse, was being selected to represent Great Britain at um, Bishop Burton International this year. So I would really like to um, represent Great Britain internationally next year. I'd love to aim at Bishop Burton. Short term, I'd like to qualify for the Winter Nationals next year. So the qualifying for that is taking place now. In the long term, Everyone says, oh, you want to get to the Paralympics, right? And I'm like, yes, but actually, Britain is very strong in the Paralympics. We've won gold medals at every World, European and Paralympic Games since it started. Um, so places on teams are very sought after. So my aim is to always ride my best, do my best, see what happens. My long-term goal is to compete internationally abroad. And kind of once I've achieved that, if that happens, I'm hoping it will, you know, you work hard, see what happens. Once I've achieved that, then I can assess where I go from there. I would like eventually to be selected onto the world-class talent pathway. Next year, if we have the right results, we'll hopefully go for the British Equestrian Federation XL Talent Programme selection and then onwards from that. And uh, yeah, just see what happens. Work hard. See?